when I was mating my Brachypelma albiplosum, I said that I plan a special enclosure for her. But unfortunately, I'm doing a lot of projects. I mean, I have a lot of different projects that I plan to do first. So I'm not sure when I'll be able to do that. And since she can make an exec, I need to transfer her as soon as possible. Today I let them mate once again. It was also su successful, but female chased the male. So she ran outside of her enclosure. So since she was already out, that's a perfect opportunity to just set up new enclosure and transfer her. So I'll do just that. Here I have all the empty enclosure and I will set it up and get her inside. So as you can see, I have a potting soil, some cocoa fiber and spangnum moss. So I'll just mix that up and that will be it. For my Petzeloteria enclosure, I plan to use the same substrate that I used in my polydarium because that seems to work out really well. So I will see how that, that one will hold up. That should do it. I'm loving this thing. It's amazing. I made a video about it this Monday. So check it out if you haven't. I will take her old hide and use that inside of this. I will have to use everything. Oh, sorry. Now I will use this old substrate that is covered in her web to cover this hide so it it will look more more natural. I don't know if they can recognize that their web, but if they can, she will be familiar with this. That's just an idea. It more light. Now the cool thing is by getting this tripod, I also can use this tripod for my additional light. So yeah. So now I have even more light when I need it. I think this looks okay. Maybe some dead leaves. Dry leaves always makes a tank look more natural. This is just the basic setup. Really, let's get the female inside. <laughs> Maybe this light is in the way. What sucks about GoPros is that it doesn't have a preview screen, at least this one. It's, this is an old Hero 2. So I have no idea how this looks. Let it go, let it go. <laughs> oh. Sorry, sorry. Tarantulas don't like when you blow on them. Anyhow, she will find, she will now find her hide, and this enclosure needs this ugly, ugly water dish. I hate to have a water dish. It always, it always ruins the. You need to have it, but. They really sucks. Put it inside when she finds her hide. Oh, 
looks like she found it. Yep. She she knows where this is going. Yep, that's your okay, cave, baby girl. Cool. She'll probably now dig because there is there is much more substrate inside than it used to be in this little tub. Get that male now inside of her old tub. He also needs a water dish. I'll put that later. With that done, one of my subscribers asked me if I have a centipede, and I have a centipede, but it is a small one, and it is native to Croatia from the same same forest where I found the scorpion and here is a you can call it a bonus footage of that scorpion catching a cockroach so I will show you now that and maybe feed it There we go, and we can have a good look. I should really make an uncut edit of these videos, just so you can see how much time it takes to get a footage like this. Let me just grab a Roach. Okay, let's see how this one goes. Ah, oh, crap. So yeah, I failed. <laughs> Shit. Anyhow, that's the centipede. This is about as big as they get. I never saw a bigger one in the wild. Anyhow, that's it for today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. I can show you the mold of that. Oh, look, she's here, so we can compare. But she's really big now. Anyhow, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, thumbs it up, comment something. And if you're new to this channel, Make sure to subscribe. I make videos every Friday. So yeah. Bye 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 bye.